So let's take a look at the first training challenge in the VEX IQ High Rise virtual world. We're going to be doing basic movement one. So the robot we're using is the Clawbot IQ training. Click basic movement one. When you press play, it'll open the environment. And what we're trying to do is move forward, grab each green cube one at a time, and move it behind this green barrier. So this is the target area that we're moving to. An excellent code to start with is in Robot C under Examples. So if you go to File and Open Sample Program, the program I want you to open, I already have open here, it's called Functions Using Encoders. And what's great about this is you've already got functions that are easy to apply. It's under Virtual Worlds VEX IQ Functions functions using encoders. Okay? They're easy to apply to this situation that we have here. We need to move precise location um, distances and make some point turns, etc, etc. So here are our three functions that we can use. Move until distance, point turn right, and point turn left. I want you to have this open and go ahead and do download to robot and then run it here and what you'll see is it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Here it's supposed to move forward until distance 960 is reached on the motors themselves and then the point turn left and point turn right don't work. It just keeps moving forward. That's because you need to make one change. So the change needs to be a change in negative sign. Where it says negative 75 here, what we really need to do is put a negative sign in front of turn distance right. And then same thing here. Turn distance left, you see the negative 75? We want to put the negative sign in front of turn distance left. Okay. When you run that program, what you should see looks like this. There's the turn, turn left, there's the turn right. Okay, So, with that basic setup, you should be able to do a lot of movement around this field sufficient to get those blocks over to where they need to be. So we've edited the uh, functions with encoders code so that it works correctly now by adding those negative signs where they belong. Save that file as basic movement one. Perhaps put your name on it as well. And then we need to add some more functions because we need to grab a block. We need to release a block. We need to raise an arm and lower an arm. None of those functions are in here yet. So here are some starting ideas for how to write those functions. First of all, I've got a grab block function. There's no parameter, there's no input values here. It sets the motor speed for claw motor at 100, a short delay of 100 milliseconds, and then sets the motor speed for the claw motor to 12. You don't need a very strong or fast claw motor once it's closed, but you do need to have it higher than zero, otherwise the block will slip out. So this grab block function can be used whenever you're close enough to a block that it's between the claws themselves. Release block. We're going to set the motor speed to negative 100 for the claw motor, another 100 millisecond delay, and then set the motor speed for the claw motor to zero. After we've opened the claw, we don't need to keep opening it. So we'll stop the claw motor after this short delay. Now you can experiment with different delay values on your own. We also need to have a raise arm and a lower arm function. The raise arm function resets the motor encoder for the arm motor. That sets it back to zero. Sets up the motor target for 360. So move motor target, arm motor, 360 is the value that we're moving to at a speed of 75. You can change these values, but they need to be positive numbers for the arm to raise. And then wait until motor stop, arm motor. This will keep the motion going until we reach our target. 
uh, encoder value of 360 and then go on to the next line of code. And then we need a lower arm function as well. So here we reset the motor encoder of the arm motor to zero again and then move motor target. Here I'm using negative values. Negative 360 is my encoder target and negative 75 is my speed. So the motor is moving in the opposite direction going down and it's going to go all the way down until it reaches negative 360. Wait until motor stop means we don't go on to the next line of code until the arm motor reaches its target and stops moving. Now I've changed one value here in our original uh, example. Move until distance now I put in 1800. That should get us to the block. Then I do a grab block, raise arm, the point turn left and point turn right are in as they were before. But in between the point turns, I'm going to release the block, and after the point turn right, the arm will lower. Now this doesn't actually achieve what we want to achieve in the game, or rather the uh, training exercise, but it's going to give you enough to get all the things accomplished that you need accomplished, provided that you input different number values and increase the length of your code so it covers all the actions needed. So here's the demonstration of what this code will do. Moving until distance, 1800. You can see in the encoder values here, that shows up. Then we're going to raise the arm after grabbing. It's going to spin, release, spin, and then the point turn left and right values need to be changed. So you can make uh, 180 degree turns. You're going to need to do move until distance to get back to where you need to go. Drop the block there, spin around, continue until you grab the second block etc etc until you've done all three blocks but these are the functions that you're going to need you won't need any more functions than this to accomplish this challenge